Today, we get the official debut of quarterback Nick Samuel as a superstar X-Factor. In the last episode, he threw for over 400 yards and four touchdowns, earning the upgrade, and now he even has an upgrade point. And with that upgrade, he gets to add one to awareness, play action, throw accuracy deep, and throw accuracy mid. His superstar X-Factor will be put to the test today as we get to take on the 7-1 Dallas Cowboys, who have not lost this season since week two when they lost to Philadelphia by seven. You're up against the Cowboys this week and they've been playing great football lately. Can you end their win streak? We're going to be confident. I'm not going to trash talk the Dallas Cowboys here. The Cowboys are playing well and all players will have plus 10 break tackle, play wreck, and tackle for this game. The vote of confidence has your team fired up for this week's game and all of your players will also have plus 10 break tackle, play wreck, and tackle. Rookie defensive back Jawan Hurts also gets an upgrade point for this episode and he gets plus one to awareness, change of direction, man coverage, play wreck, press, and tackle. The Cowboys are led by their 90 overall quarterback Dak Prescott at running back a 94 overall in Tony Pollard. At wide receiver they have a 98 in CD Lamb, an 82 in Michael Gallup, and an 80 in Jamichael Dalton, a second year receiver. And then at tight end they have a 77 overall in Luke Schoonmaker. And then their offensive line is an 88 overall left tackle, a 75 guard, a 77 center, a 70 right guard, and an 83 right tackle. Now on defense, that is where I think they're going to be absolutely terrifying. Demarcus Lawrence is a 91 overall left end. At right end, they have a 99 overall Micah Parsons. Defensive tackle is an 84 in Mozzie Smith. Outside linebacker is an 83 overall in Tevin Chaney. Middle linebacker is a 90 overall in Leighton Vander Esch. Outside linebacker on the other side is a 79 and a rookie Alex Scott. And then at corner, a 97 Trayvon Diggs and 80 overall Deron Bland. At free safety, an 86 of Malik Hooker, and then an 87 in Donovan Smith. We will get to see how our defense does first. Dak Prescott comes out in shotgun at his own 25-yard line. He'll take the snap, that's a handoff to Tony Pollard to the outside, brought down by Darnell Waters for a four-yard gain. Our rookie linebackers are probably going to be pretty busy today with Tony Pollard in the backfield, and they go right back to him on the next play for the first down run. Now on first and 10, lined up at the 36-yard line. They take the snap, and it's a handoff up the middle, and Tony Pollard won't find much space that time, brought down by Dimitri Thomas, the rookie defensive tackle. Now on second and nine, Dak will drop back with a quick throw that will be behind C.D. Lamb. Now with third down. Let's get them off the field defense from their own 38-yard line. Dak in shotgun will run the play action. Now a quick throw downfield will be open to his tight end for the first down into Bison territory. I believe it was Darnell Waters in coverage. Now first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Dak will drop back to pass. He's going downfield. That'll be caught for the first down by Michael Gallup, and he's brought down to the 34. No gain from their backup running back Hoskins on the next run brings up a second and 10. Now Tony Pollard has checked back into the game. Prescott will take the snap. A quick throw downfield will be knocked away from his tight end by Will Thomas. Third and 10. Dak is back in shotgun again. He'll run the play action to Tony Pollard. Now they're on the run to a wide open tight end for the first down to the Bison 20. Apparently Dak Prescott's just going to carve up this defense today. First and 10. He lines up under center. He'll drop back to pass again. Standing back in the pocket, now rolling to the outside under pressure, and he's going to get sacked on the play all the way back to the 35 by Khalil Mack. That sets up a second and 25 now for the Cowboys. Dak comes back in pistol. Pollard is the running back, but he'll drop back to pass. Going deep over the middle, and he's got his man for a decent gain to set up a third and eight. That was wide receiver Jamichael Dalton. Now it's a third down from the 18-yard line. Dak is back in shotgun again. Pollard is the running back. He'll take the snap, we're bringing heavy pressure. He goes over the middle and that is knocked away, I believe, from C.D. Lamb, fourth and eight. They will settle for a 35 yard field goal and I believe the announcer just said their kicker is Jake Elliott and that really makes me wanna vomit as a Philadelphia Eagles fan, but the kick is away and it is good. Now out comes quarterback Nick Samuel. And in case you haven't noticed, I did make him a captain now officially so it will show up on his jersey, but here's how the season's going so far. 2,000 yards, 15 touchdowns and five interceptions. I honestly meant to make him a captain at the beginning of the season, but completely forgot about it. But now first and 10 from the 20 yard line. Samuel's back in shotgun. We're going to start with a pass play. Rolling to the outside. He's under pressure and getting sacked on the play back to the 12. That brings up a second and 18 now. He comes back in shotgun again. Samuel will take the snap. He steps up and he's just going to take off up the middle and will slide down for a seven yard gain, setting up a third and 11. Will the offense be able to convert this play from the 19-yard line? Samuel back in shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. He's going deep over the middle. He's got a man, and that is a first down to Curtis Samuel all the way to the 41. 
Now quarterback Nick Samuel will line up under center, and that is going to be a false start, I believe, on the Bison. Kendra Miller setting up a second and 14 following the false start with a one-yard run. Now Nick Samuel lines up under center. From the 37-yard line, a quick throw to the outside will be caught by Barto. He breaks one tackle, but is brought down to set up a third and seven for Oklahoma City. Nick Samuel comes back in shotgun from the 43-yard line. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He steps up, and he's going to take off. He has the first down and will slide down to the Cowboys' 46-yard line. The next two plays were run plays to Kendra Miller, and now third and six for Oklahoma City. It's going to be a screen out to Puka Williams, who has blockers, gets one hell of a block, and ends up with the first down to the 34. I don't know what lineman that was, but he absolutely decimated one Cowboys defender. First and 10 from the 34 down. We'll give this one to Kendra Miller. Never mind, it's a play fake. We will throw it to Miller, though, and he ends up with a three-yard gain. That brings up a second and seven. At the 31-yard line, he'll drop back to pass, roll into the outside, and he will finally just throw that one away. That was his first incomplete pass of the day. Now that brings up a third and seven. Samuel from under center will drop back to pass. He's throwing this one towards the sideline. That is dropped by Tyler Lockett. What happened there? We will send out Harrison Bucker for about a 48-yard field goal try to try to tie this one up at three here in the first quarter. The kick is away, and this one will be good. On the Cowboys' next drive, we will jump into the second quarter. They are at the Bison 25-yard line for a first and 10. Dak is under center. He'll drop back to pass. He throws this one to the outside, and that is deflected away from C.D. Lamb. That brings up a second and 10 now. Dak is back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap and a quick throw. The middle will be caught and immediately brought down to bring up a third down. A third and seven. And look at this formation Dallas has lined up in here. From the 21-yard line, Dak will drop back to the pass. He fires his way to the outside and he overthrows Michael Gallup. That'll lead to another field goal try. This one only about 38 yards. The kick is away and it is good. A pretty solid kick return from Devon Woodbury sets us up at the 33-yard line. Samuel comes out in shotgun to start this drive. And he's going to fire this one downfield to an open man. That's Barto who breaks one tackle. Never mind, it's Curtis Samuel. But either way, first down Oklahoma City into Cowboys territory. Now we come out in pistol. For the next throw, he'll go to the outside, caught by Brooks, and that'll be a five-yard gain. That brings up a second and five now at the 42-yard line. Samuel will drop back to pass. He goes downfield, and I feel like that should be pass interference on Trayvon Diggs, but apparently it's just going to be incomplete. That leads to a third down. Samuel comes out in shotgun at the 42-yard line. Puka Williams is the running back. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He fires this one over the middle. He's got Jared Bartow for the first down to the Cowboys' 22-yard line. Now Samuel lines up under center. Kendra Miller once again the running back here. He'll take the snap, and it will be a handoff to Miller to the outside, and Miller will get brought down for a gain of six here to bring up a second and four for the Bison. Nick Samuel lines up under center. Puka Williams is the running back here. At the 16-yard line, it'll be a fake to Puka. Now he's standing in the pocket, throws to the outside. That's caught by Jerry Brooks, who has the first down to set up a first and goal out of bounds at the seven. Now we come back in shotgun yet again. Kendra Miller is the running back again. It'll be a quick toss out to Miller. To the outside, and he'll get brought down for a loss in the backfield, and Kendra Miller is now injured again. We just got Miller back from injury last week, and now he's out again. Puka Williams checks in. On second and goal, he goes to the end zone and overthrows his man, and I believe that was intended for Braden Willis. That brings up a third and goal now from the eight-yard line. Samuel is back in shotgun. He'll take the snap. He's going to the end zone for Willis again, and this time he makes the catch. Touchdown, Bison. He was in coverage from Trayvon Diggs. And a quick update on Kendra Miller. He has a bruised sternum and will not be able to return for today's game, so we will use Puka Williams the rest of today. The Bison defense could get a stop here. It is third and four for the Cowboys from their own 31. Dak will take the snap. He's under pressure, and he's going to get sacked on the play by Perry on Winfrey, and they will punt it back to the Bison. And apparently a decent punt return in simulation will set us up at the 39-yard line. Samuel in shotgun will take the snap and look to pass. He's going over the middle, and that really should have been intercepted, trying to force one to Tyler Lockett. Now a second and 10. From the 39-yard line, it'll be a handoff to Puka Williams, and Williams to the outside will have some room to run and end up with an 8-yard gain. It sets up a third and two. Samuel lines up under center. From the 46-yard line, a quick throw downfield will be incomplete. He threw it behind Barto. On the following drive, Dallas faces a third and three this time from their own 41. 
Zach is back in shotgun with under four minutes to go in the half here. It's a quick throw down the sideline. That'll be caught by his tight end, Luke Schoonmaker, for the first down. Now into Bison territory. At the 46-yard line, Zach is lined up under center. He'll drop back to pass. He's going to fire this one downfield. That is caught for a gain of six yards, second and four. From the 40-yard line, Zach is back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He fires this one downfield, and that's caught for the first down again to the 35 this time. Now first and 10, Zach will drop back to pass, and he throws downfield. That's caught by Gallup. That's an eight-yard play. That would take us to the two-minute warning. Now second and two, another quick throw and another quick catch from Michael Gallup for the first down. Both teams do have all three timeouts. Now the Cowboys are at the Bison 20. Dak is back in shotgun. Pollard is the running back. He'll take the snap and with the pass. He's going to fire this one over the middle, caught by Pollard, who's quickly brought down. That leads to a second and four. Just 60 seconds to go here in the half. Neither team has burned any timeout still. Dak all alone in the backfield will take the snap, a quick throw, and that one will be incomplete, but there is a flag down. What is this going to be? Pass interference on the defense, so an automatic first down for the Cowboys. Now first and goal from the eight-yard line. Dak is back in shotgun. He'll take the snap, a quick dump off to Pollard, who is met and brought down immediately by rookie defensive back Jawan Hurts. The Cowboys would burn their first time out after that play. Now second and goal from the eleven. Zach back in shotgun will take the snap, rolling around the pocket, throws downfield. That'll be caught by Pollard, who's quickly brought down again. Third and goal for the Cowboys. They come out in shotgun for the third down. Zach will take the snap. He goes to the end zone and finds his man. Touchdown, I believe, from Jamichael Dalton. And we are apparently fine just going to halftime with this score. We threw a two-yard pass to Braden Willis, and now we'll hand this one to Puka Williams, and we go to halftime down by three. We do get the ball to start the second half, though. It's a first and 10 from the 22-yard line. Nick Samuel back in shotgun. Puka Williams lined up at running back. Samuel with a quick throw to the outside will be caught along the sideline. That's going to be Curtis Samuel for a five-yard gain. We lined up under center, but we called an audible to line up in shotgun now. Samuel from shotgun will drop back to pass. He's going to fire this one underneath, caught by Samuel, who will have the first down. That Samuel to Samuel connection works again. Now we come out in an eye formation. Zach Ertz is lined up in the backfield. It will be a pass play. He's going deep downfield, and that is dropped by Barto. Now a second and 10 at the 34-yard line. He'll take the snap. Samuel rolling out to the outside. Throws on the run over the middle, and that is going to fall incomplete. Third and 10. He comes back in shotgun looking to convert through the air here. He's going to fire this one downfield, and that one will fall incomplete. Tried to fit that one through traffic, and we will punt the ball away. Luckily, the defense would force a three and out for the Cowboys, so now we come back out of the 20-yard line. Nick Samuel lines up under center. We'll hand this one to Puka Williams, who goes to the outside and is brought down pretty quickly. Only a two-yard gain. Samuel back in pistol. We'll take the snap and look to pass this time. He's going to throw this one downfield, and that one's going to be intercepted by Micah Parsons, and the Cowboys will take over deep in Bison territory. And the Cowboys make this a two-score game. Dak will take the snap and look to pass. He throws this one downfield, caught by his tight end, who breaks that tackle and will be brought down for a gain of six here to set up a second and four. Prescott lines up under center for the next play. He'll drop back to pass. Rolling to the outside. He's under pressure. And he's finally going to throw this one downfield, and that one will fall incomplete. Now a third and four. Dak is back in shotgun. Pollard is the running back here. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He's going to throw this one to the outside to a wide open Schoonmaker who fumbles the ball and then is recovered by Oklahoma City. Darnell Waters picked it up. I have no idea who forced the fumble just yet, though. Obviously a huge play, and that's going to be outside linebacker Colt Clinton coming in laying the big hit to force the turnover. Well, Nick Samuel, the defense bailed you out here. First and 10 from the 13 now. It'll be a handoff to Puka Williams, and he'll get body slammed for just a one-yard gain. Now a second and nine. Out of pistol. They're bringing heavy pressure. He'll find Brooks on the outside who will get brought down for a short gain, setting up a third and six for Oklahoma City. We come out with no one else in the backfield. It is a five wide set for the Bison. Samuel will take the snap and a quick throw downfield will be caught for the first down. That's Curtis Samuel breaking tackles and finally getting brought down to the 46 yard line. Let's do a bit more of that guys. First and 10. Samuel lines up under center. It'll be a handoff to Puka Williams right up the middle with a huge lane and a first down into Cowboys territory. Are we out in a goal line formation right now? I don't think it's a goal line formation, but it's definitely a power formation as we give it to Samaj P. Ryan for a seven-yard gain. 
That brings up a second and three for the Bison now. Samuel is back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back. He'll take the stab, a quick throw over the middle. Will fall incomplete. Tried to get it to Braden Willis. Another five wide set for the Bison here. From the 33 yard line, Samuel will take the snap. A quick throw caught by Braden Willis. He has the first down and he'll get brought down to the Cowboys 27. Samuel is back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap and looks a pass. He fires deep over the middle. He's got a man and that is Barto all the way down to the three yard line. The rookie receiver coming up big on that one. Now first and goal. This is definitely a goal line set. As we take the snap, hand off to Zach Ertz and he won't find the end zone. Second and goal. Now Samuel lines up under center. From the two yard line, Puka Williams is the running back. He'll take the snap, a quick throw to the end zone and that should have been intercepted. The hands of that defender bailed us out there. Third angle, back in a goal line set. It's another handoff to Zach Ertz and he will not get into the end zone. Fourth and goal from inside the one. The Cowboys defense makes an incredible stand there and instead of going for it, we will just kick the field goal to try to tie this one up at 13. The kick is away and it is good. Near the end of the third quarter of this game, it is third and 13 for Dallas from their own 37. Dak will drop back, roll into the outside. He's under a lot of pressure and he'll finally just throw this one deep downfield and that is gonna go out of bounds. We begin this fourth quarter tied up at 13. From our own 26 yard line, Samuel will take the snap and look to pass. He's gonna lob this one downfield and that is gonna fall incomplete. He lobbed that one downfield for Tyler Lockett but was not very accurate. That leads to a second and 10. Samuel is back in shotgun for this play. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He's firing quickly downfield for the first down to Curtis Samuel. Now a first and 10 from the 38. Samuel back in a pistol set. We'll take the snap and it's gonna be a fake to Puka Williams. Now Samuel firing deep over the middle for the first down to Braden Willis into Cowboys territory. A couple of plays later and now the Bison face a third and seven from the Cowboys 42. Samuel will lob this one downfield and that'll be incomplete. It wasn't really a lob, it was more of a bullet pass, but Barto could not come up with it. Fourth and seven. And I really thought we were too far for a field goal and too close to punt, but apparently not. We are gonna punt this one away and the Cowboys will get to take over at the one yard line. Can we please hit them for a safety? Dak comes out under center. From about, I would say the one and a half yard line here. It'll be a handoff to Tony Pollard, who has a lot of space here, gets them out of danger, and ends up with a first down run. Did our defense really not see a run right up the middle coming at all? First and 10 from the 12. Dak back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. He fires deep downfield, and that one will fall incomplete. That leads to a second and 10. Dak lines up under center from the 12 here. It's a handoff to Pollard right up the middle, and he will fight his way forward for a gain of four. Now a third and six for the Cowboys. At the 16. Dak is back in shotgun. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He throws this one to the outside. A wide open CD Lamb for the first down. Under nine minutes to go in the game. Cowboys are at their own 25 yard line with a first and 10. He'll take the snap and go to the outside. That one will fall incomplete. Knocked out of the hands of Michael Gallup. Now on second and 10, they come out in an eye formation. Will this one go to Tony Pollard? No, it will not. It is going to be a pass play. As he goes deep downfield, and that one will fall incomplete. Knocked away by Avante Maddox. Another chance for the defense to get off the field. It is third and 10. Dak will take the snap. He's under pressure. He throws this one downfield and there is nobody there. They will have to punt the ball back to Oklahoma City. Both defenses have been absolutely insane today. Now the Bison take over the 31 yard line. He'll take the snap. It's a handoff to Puka Williams and Williams will have a first down run for the Bison all the way to the 43. Just eight minutes to play here in this Sunday night matchup. From the 43 yard line now. Samuel back in shotgun, will drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside, caught by Puka Williams, and he will get brought down, fumble the ball, and the Cowboys have recovered it. And no one was able to tag him down. And we finally will get him down about the 34 yard line. I don't know if he was down or not though. The booth is thankfully reviewing this one, and I think his knee was 100% down. We should get to keep this ball. Luckily, it is not a turnover. Now we face a second and 12 from our own 41 yard line. Samuel from under center will drop back to pass. He fires this one over the middle and that is caught by Willis who took a couple shots there. Now a third and five, back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and he's firing over the middle to an open man and that is Braden Willis for the first down to the 28 yard line. No gain on the play from Puka Williams sets up a second and 10. From the 27, he'll drop back. He fires this one downfield. That one will be caught by Curtis Samuel down to the 10 yard line. 
Now Samuel is all alone in the backfield here. First and 10 from the 10. He'll take the snap out of a five wide set. He's going to look to run and he gets popped. He got no gain on the play and definitely paid for trying to run it. Now under five minutes to go in the game. That is Creighton now in it running back. Here at the 10 yard line still. We will give it to Creighton right up the middle and he will fight his way down to the five yard line. But now Zach Ertz is injured. That would stop the clock for us. No one had to burn a timeout. Third and five. Samuel's going to change the play around a little bit. Puka Williams has checked back in at running back for this play. Let's see if we have to settle for a field goal. Samuel will take the snap. And he's going to throw this one to the end zone. And a touchdown for Tyler Lockett. We will take a 20-13 lead. With 4.44 to go in the game now. Number four for the Cowboys will take over at his own 25. He's going to throw this one downfield. That'll be caught for a game of about five yards. Now a second and five after the play to C.D. Lamb. Zach lines up under center. It's a handoff to Tony Pollard, and he'll break that tackle, but get brought down by Perry on Winfrey, just a yard shy of the marker. Third and one, Zach lines up under center. From the 34-yard line, can we get a stop here? He'll take the snap. It's a handoff to Pollard, and Khalil Mack will get him down for no gain on the play. The Cowboys do have all three timeouts, but so do the Bison. With 3.13 to play. Samuel is back in shotgun. He'll take the snap. It's a handoff to Puka Williams, who goes to the outside and will get brought down for a two-yard game. That brings up a second and eight with 2.35 to play in the game now. Samuel lines up under center. Puka Williams is still the running back on this play, but Samuel will drop back to pass and throw an incomplete one right over the middle. Now that sets up a third and eight with 2.29 to play. All alone in the backfield, Samuel with a throw down field, and he'll get intercepted by Trayvon Diggs. Why did you try to force a pass there? The Cowboys get the ball in great field position, don't even have to burn a timeout to get it back. 2.24 to play. Zach back in shotgun, will take the snap and look to pass. He's going to fire over the middle, and that is an incomplete ball. Now a second and 10. Zach lines up under center. Tony Pollard is the running back here. From the 31-yard line, Zach will drop back to pass. A quick throw caught by Schoonmaker, who cuts up field, makes Daryl Waters miss, and he is finally brought down inside the 10-yard line. That sets up a first and goal from the 7-yard line now with two minutes to play. Zach back in shotgun will take the snap, hand off to Pollard, and Pollard to the outside will walk into the end zone as Dallas ties this one up. The Bison come out with a minute and 53 seconds left in regulation. Both teams have all three timeouts. We get to start at our own 24-yard line. Samuel is back in pistol. He'll take the snap and look to pass. And he's going to roll around now, throw down field. That will be caught by Bartow for a gain of about 10 yards, second and inches. They would rule that Bartow got out of bounds, so we did not have to burn a timeout. Now second and inches from the 34. It's a play action to Puka. Now he's going downfield. That'll be caught and knocked out of the hands of Jared Bartow. Third down. I don't know why we've decided to test Trayvon Diggs so much today. It seems like he's always the guy in coverage when we're throwing the ball. But now on third down, can we convert here? Samuel back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back. A quick throw will be caught by Jerry Brooks for the first down of the 39. No one has burned a timeout yet. A minute 20 to play in the game. Samuel lines up under center. He'll drop back to pass again. He's going to fire this one deep over the middle, and that is going to be Jerry Brooks for the first down to the Cowboys 35. And now Dallas has burned their first time out with a minute 12 to go. Samuel comes out in an eye formation. It's going to be a handoff to Creighton, and Creighton will get brought down for about no gain on that play. Second and 10 as Dallas burns their second time out. From the 35-yard line, we're back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back again. We give it to Puka, who will get picked up and body slammed for no gain as Dallas burns their final timeout. Third and 10, a minute five to go. It's gonna be a handoff to Puka Williams and he will get brought down for a three yard game. We will send out Harrison Bucker for about a 49 yard field goal try with 25 seconds to go in the game. To try to take a three point lead, the kick is away and this one will be good. There is now 20 seconds to go in the game. Dak has no timeouts to use here so we'll have to see how good of a kick return they get here. From the five yard line, He'll get up across the 25 and get brought down to the 29-yard line. First and 10. Dak comes out in shotgun. No timeouts remaining, so they're going to have to try to go to the sideline or just go deep to the end zone now. You don't really know if he has that kind of arm, though. Dak will throw it deep downfield, and that one will be incomplete. There was nobody there. 10 seconds remaining. They come out in shotgun again. Dak will take the snap. I don't know why you're trying to play action. Rolling to the outside. He will throw that one away. One play remaining. With five seconds to go in the game, you're going to need to throw the ball deep and hope for an absolute miracle. 
Zach will take this up under pressure, hit as he's throwing it, and it will go out of bounds, but there is one second on the clock. The final play of the game, barring a defensive penalty, Zach will drop back to pass. He's going to launch this as far as he can downfield towards the sideline, and that one will fall incomplete. The Cowboys' win streak will stop here. They fall to 7-2, and, and we have reached 4-4. Four and four. For the first time this season, we are back to 500, and it was a pretty impressive win, getting a win over the 7-1 Dallas Cowboys. It was not the prettiest game from Nick Samuel, but we got the win, which is the important part. He goes 28 for 46, 303 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. On the ground, Puka Williams ran for 45 yards on 10 carries. Receiving Curtis Samuel, 7 for 112 yards. Braden Willis, 6 for 65 in a score. Tyler Lockett scored a touchdown. And then over on defense, Jawan Hurts and Colt Clinton both led the team in tackles. In sacks, Perrion Winfrey got one. Obo Okorunkwu got one and Khalil Mack got one, but we got no interceptions today at all. And now let's see how Dak Prescott played. He goes 23 for 41, 194 yards and a touchdown. On the ground, Tony Pollard ran for 98 yards and a score on 5.1 yards a carry. It felt like their tight end was constantly open today. Luke Schoonmaker, 8 for 86, but Jamichael Dalton was the only one to catch a touchdown. You've stolen the Cowboys' momentum, and all players will have plus 10 break tackle, play rec, and tackle in the next game and our entire team earns 2,500 experience. We will see in the next episode if I can get back to doing more than just one game an episode, but the game against the 7-1 Dallas Cowboys on primetime felt really, really big. And we got the win, we're back to 4-4. Four four. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and I will talk to you next time.